Hi everyone, welcome to another Play Pro Studio tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to use the offload and backup function inside Play Pro Studio. This is an incredibly important and useful feature because it allows you to copy your footage from the record media to multiple destinations on your machine, like an internal RAID, but also an external hard drive for backup reasons. More importantly, Play Pro Studio will create checksums and media hash lists to verify that all content is 100% identical between the original record media and the backup locations. More on those safety nets called checksums and media hash lists in just a bit. Let's first look at where to find the new feature inside Play Pro Studio. You can find the Consolidate Timeline option here on the right. Once open, you can choose between two mechanisms, Consolidate and backup. Let's start with the backup option. It's pretty straightforward. I first select the source folder or drive that I have recorded my footage on. This typically is the SSD the Atomos recorder recorded to or your camera recorded to directly. Next I'm going to select the folder that I want to copy everything to. As you can see I can copy to up to three locations and with the button down below I can choose whether these copies should be done in parallel or rather one after another. In that case I would set my internal RAID to be destination number one and once media is copied to this location start editing while Play Pro Studio starts the copy to the other destinations. Maybe an external drive for redundancy and backup reasons. For now however I'll just stick with one destination. Now comes the interesting part, checksums. What are checksums? They are typically a string of letters and numbers created by an algorithm to represent a specific file. These algorithms are mathematically incredibly advanced and guarantee that no two distinct files possess the same checksum. Therefore, you can detect any change in a file by comparing it to its checksum. Now, what Play Pro Studio does is this. It calculates the checksum for the source file and after it has been copied to the destination also calculates the checksum of the copied file. That being said, it is not only important to create checksums, but also to compare them. This is what the verify button is for. Essentially, if the checksums of the source file and the copy file are identical, we can say that the copy process was successful and that the copied file is indeed a 100% unaltered copy of the original file, down to the very last bit. If for whatever reason the file was altered during the copy process or if the copy process was interrupted, the copied file would have a different checksum which won't match the checksum of the original file. And this way tell us that something went wrong and we should better take a closer look. As you can see there are several different checksum types available. Some are faster to calculate, others are more secure. They all have their pros and cons. More information on the actual differences can be found online. Generally though, you can't go wrong with any of them. I'll go with xxhash64 for now. Lastly, we can decide whether we want to create a media hash list, short MHL. I recommend doing that since it adds no additional processing time and at the same time serves as kind of a report of the copy process. MHL is an XML format that basically lists all the files in a folder and all of its subfolders as well as the corresponding checksums. This list is accompanied by additional information about the creation of the MHL file. Technically speaking, the MHL file comprehends all the information necessary to tell if the folder structure or any of the contained files were modified since the MHL file was created. You can select between two versions of the MHL the initial version 1 and the ASC adapted and certified version 2 MHL. Before we start the copy, let's quickly check if we have enough space left on the target drive. Yes we do. And off we go by adding the backup job to the process queue. If we now open the queue, we can see the backup job here. Done. Let's open the destination folder and find our MHL inside. Here we go, it's all there. Now let's take a look at the consolidate option inside Play Pro Studio. For this, we first need to import footage into an empty timeline. Let me do that real quick. What we now want to do is just make a selection of shots and have those copied, not the entire folder of clips. We can scrub through the footage if we want and then here in the construct tab make our selection. 
let's say these three clips we want to copy and send them to a client maybe. Now we can go either way, delete all other clips from the timeline or copy these three clips to a new timeline. To do so, we can just drag them and they will become attached to our cursor and we can create a new timeline and drop them in there. Now if instead of the backup we choose the consolidate option, we have the very same options here with regards to checksums and MHLs. But now PlayPro Studio will only copy the clips in this timeline and nothing more. Also a good way to double check the copy is to enable the Relink Media option here. As you can see down here is the path of the source clips. With the Relink option enabled, PlayPro Studio will relink the clips in our timeline to the copied files in the destination folder and we can quickly check if everything went through fine. Let's do that. After the consolidate is through, the project refresh button in the lower left corner lights up in blue. As you can see, the clips still point to the source destination, so why don't we go ahead and refresh our project. Done. As you can now see, the path to the underlying file has been updated with the destination folder. We can now disconnect the source drive and scrub through our timeline to check if everything is there. If we now check the folder we consolidated to, we can find the MHL and also the complete folder structure and source files. This is it on offload and backup with PlayPro Studio. Hope this tutorial was useful to you and see you next time. Bye!